Hello there guys and girls and welcome to UDL week for the UBAS Draft League and we are up versus the commission of the league uh, actually the guy which had the idea to create this whole thing which is Kelly aka under the radar you probably know him he's part of many leagues he's the inventor of the Pokemon Draft League viabilities his links of course will be in the description I mean they were in the description for all the weeks basically so far but this time he gets a special shout out because he's our opponent so, we are currently 2-1, and one. we have a winning record, looking very nice so far, pretty decent differential, and we definitely want to keep that up, but Kelly has, uh, has a pretty scary team, which I will go over right now, he got the Mega Salamence, the Eveltar, the Kyogre, Deoxys Speed, Genesect, Tapofini, Landorus T, Zerkatry, Celebi, and the Victini. Biggest stress without a doubt, basically, it's first three picks, Mega Salamence, Kyogre, Eveltar. Very huge stress to material, especially the Mega Salamence. If that thing sets up, it's basically over. Barring uh, I have a Scarf to revenge kill him, but uh, Mega Salamence, basically, I have close to no switches to that thing. And if it sets up, it can just sweep the team. It's way too bulky, so uh, I need basically ice coverage on everything if I want to prevent it from setting up. Any other coverage moves basically won't cut it on um, preventing it to set up. So I need ice coverage for the team. Thankfully, his team is decently weak to ice, so it's not really a big deal to have ice coverage on mons like his Mega Salamence weak to ice, Evelto is weak to ice, uh, Landos is weak to ice four times as well, and Celebi is weak to ice. And then you get a few resists, but a lot of his prime mons, mainly his first two Mega Salamence and Evelto are weak to ice. And then just needs something good to Kyogre, something like Thunderbolt, for example. It's like it basically Bolt Beam, then get to Kyogre super effectively, the Finny super effectively, and the only thing which resists like Bolt Beam would be, or which doesn't get awkward by Bolt Beam is like Victini and stuff like that, so yeah. The Axe Speed, of course, troublesome as well. I'll speed my whole team, even though I have some very fast mods. The Axe Speed is, of course, the fastest mod in Uber, so yeah. Don't, don't have anything which cannot speed that without setup or out of scarf, so I have to be worried about some about that. Of, thankfully, it's not that strong, so I can probably, probably deal with it, barring it is more of a revenge killer. I am a bit scared of the Oxus Speed being a Pursuit Trapper, like I did with uh, versus the Mega Mewtwo uh, Y in my last match, because uh, actually Pursuit from a Deoxys Speed would kill my Deoxys attack, and I'm basically trapped. If I stay in, I die. If I switch out, I die. So that I'm a bit worried about. I don't know if he can really watch my match, or if he has the same ideas, but we'll just hope that he doesn't. But uh, yeah. That's basically the team. Genesect, of course. Decent big threat. Probably Scarf, but Genesect is a prime Scarf, but... Maybe the, the first three ones, Max Elements, Evil Tank, Kyogre, are the biggest stress to my team. So, let's start with the team building part. First up, we got Yux's attack with enough speed to outspeed uh, uh, Max Elements without setup. Basically, base 121, one. that's why I could afford to be a max attack. Naughty Nature, because I want still a good special attack from Psycho Boost. Then we got Knock Off, Ice Punch, Extreme Speed. Ice Punch, of course, like I said, Ice is very nice coverage, and with Knock Off, I can hit the opposing. Uh, what you call it, the opposing um, uh, Deoxys for effective damage if he wants to switch it in because he can afford to be more bulky uh, since he is so speedy. The experience speed, of course, for recovery, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Deoxys, life of four attacks, like you have seen all the week so far. It's doing a lot of work with insane attacks and insane speed. Of course, not taking any hits, barring uh, the, the knockoff from uh, week two, I think. But uh, yeah, that's bulk for you. Four attacks, life up, just. Revenge killer with his free speed and basically breaking through his team with striker boost, ice punch, knockoff. Knockoff many that to get rough items and it hits the Victini so effectively, which is one of his resists. And uh, yeah, the rest can basically hit with striker boost so effectively, buying the Victini. Like Victini was resistant to ice punch and striker boost, so this I decided to put knockoff. And it's, of course, always nice to get rid of items. Next up, we got actual gold. This time, not an E killer set, this time a physically defensive set with judgment, ice beam, flamethrower, and recover. This thing is my check to Mega Salamence. This thing can take two double edges. From a uh, uh, Mega Salamence, if he's if he's not set up, if he's set up, double edge can take, but I can still take uh, frustrations and stuff like that if he's set up. And Ice Team isn't open to that with my special attack investment. Then we have Flamethrower for the uh, um, Genesect, and Judgment just is my main stab move. Uh, aside for Flamethrower, I was thinking about putting Rass up there so I can hit the uh, Kyogre harder. But Judgment was like overall the better coverage. Like it hits a lot of his team for neutral damage and is stab. I would put grass out there. There's a lot of teams I wouldn't, wouldn't be able to hit super effect, uh, wouldn't be hit, able to hit at all. So I decided to put Judgment right here and then Flamethrower over Grass Knot because with Judgment Ice being Grass Knot, I can't hit the Genesect at all. And this is like kind of my check to Genesect as well if it's a physically offensive set. So I can, my Arceus can switch into that as well and be basically a happy actual goat. But yeah, this time not E killer, actually Fist Death Arceus. Basically, uh, mods like Mega Settlements uh, ask for drastic measures and yeah. 
City Defense for RCS is one of them. Next up, we got Mega Kick Puncher, just straight four attacks. There's a very nice BT versus team. The only thing he, that outspeeds me is the Yachty Speed, which can't really hurt me too much, because like I said, it's rather weak. And the Yachty Speed is, uh, 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 Mewtwo is way too bulky. And then you have Drain Punch, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, Earthquake. Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, like both Beam versus team is very nice. Then Drain Punch Recovery and Earthquake for what, what is I missing for the Vichini. Uh, mainly. And let's see, did I miss something? No, mainly Lucini. And Zogatria hit as well, but that I could just drain punch into oblivion, so yeah. Like I said, what, he's got a decently slow team for Ubers, I want to say. Like, Mega Stellaments is like on, only 120, which a lot of my mods actually do outspeed or speed tail with. And then you got the actual speed, which I of course have to worry about. But like I said, it's not the strongest mod, so as long as my, even my Arceus with no but death investment should be able to take it on, so uh, yeah. That Mega Mewtwo X for you. Next up, we got my Choice Guard for the team. We got Shaman Sky. Part of actually making its debut with a Choice Guard set. Sea Flare, Acid, Shin Power, Ice, and Healing Wish. I wanted to have a Choice Guard, which outspeeds the Mega Salamence at plus one, so I don't get just a straight swept. And Shaman Sky was one of them, of course, with 127 speed. And the one other good thing is with the Choice Guard, I outspeed the Dark Speed as well. So that thing can potentially not sweep me as well. I know I'm going a bit dirty with potentially, like, ch like, you'd always see the Troy Scout suit you guys in Air Slash or Iron Head, so I can pretty flinch Mons down. Seed Flare, of course, mainly there for the Kyogre. It's very nice, 80% chance to drop this bit by 2, so nothing really switched into Seed Flare, because after I get a minus minus 2 drop, I hit him again for double the damage, so if I hit that is, sadly, Seed Flare has a chance to miss. Then Hidden Power Ice, of course, for the Salamence, like I already mentioned, and Healing Wish, just so I can Healing Wish back a Mons if they're pretty weak, mainly this guy right here, but potentially ask, uh, ask as well if it's too weak to take on the Salamence, or... I need more life up hits on my uh, Deoxys. I was thinking about putting Earth Power here for the Victini. But I can't just ask such an assigning healer, which gives me more utility, which I can use throughout the match. So, next up, we got my check to the Kyogre, which is Assault Lested Palkia with max speed, so I can outspeed his two. Because he actually got two 99 base speed mounts, which are his Velator and his Genesect. So, based on 100, it's a very nice speed here as well. I can just beat both with max speed. Then, that's max special attack, Spatial Rend, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Thunderbolt. Once again, Bolt Encourage, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and then my two stat moves. Like, it's basically. It Switches into Kyogre. The best thing it can do is Ice Beam me, which won't do too much. With the Assault Test and 120 Sp Sp Death, which is a great Sp Death set with 90 HP. Very good special book. Of course, his water attacks are quad resistant, so he's like a Choice Scarf or Choice Specs. Water spamming uh, Kyogre under rain. This thing still can take the hits and then Thunderbolt is basically rendered. I got some options to that guy, but yeah, that's by the car here. Mainly there for the Kyogre, of course, can in general sponge special hits and hit, hit back hard with these coverage moves. Next up, we got Derpy Tower, our Spadef, Choppel Barry Mount, with Stone Edge, Crunch, Pursuit, and Stealth Rock. This is one might check to the Evolta. And switch it and resist both its stabs with uh, you would had to rely on focus blast, which I have trouble barrier for to kill me. And I can basically hit a heart with stone edge and main uh, and another job this thing can do, of course, barring putting up staff rocks because that's what it has, is pursue traffic potentially the deoxys speed. Because of trouble barrier, I can take a superpower, obviously any other thing he wants to uh, do versus me to kill me, and I can pursue trap it and basically kill it if he switches out. If he stays in, depending on investment, he might take the hit. So I might want to go for Crunch because uh, he might think he can kill me, goes for a move, a fighting move, I live and then I can crunch him and he's dead. But uh, yeah, that's the right. I get up rocks, be a check to Evelta and potentially be a check to the um, the Axis Speed as well. But yeah, that is the team. Let uh, yeah, you don't have to let me. This is not a team builder. Like the battle is right after, so I want to ask like, what do you think of the team? But uh, either way, you will find out how this team will perform in a minute. I will just cut to the battle on showdown and yeah, I'll see you there. Here we are on Showdown week 4 of UDL versus Kelly, aka under the radar coach of the. Uh, not Baltimore Braveries. Is he Baltimore? No, he's not the Baltimore Braveries. He's Marion Terrapins. There we go. Uh, the. Uh, what you call it? The <laughs> Braveries a long time ago he had the team. So, good luck, have fun, mister. So, looking at the squad, looking at what he brought the Kyogre. Was not sus surprised, uh, was not suspecting that. What did he not bring? No Mega Salamence. No Mega Salamence. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah, every one team is pretty big. But I just want to leave with Tyranitar, honestly. Just so I can, like, catch the Deoxys speed. If it has a stack variant, he might just lead with his Evelto, but uh, with his uh, Genesect. But now my um, Arceus is like, I don't need, it's not as important. He does lead straight with the Onion Fairy. Straight with the Onion Fairy. And I'm, honestly, I just want to crunch. I, I need some health on this, to be fair. I probably shouldn't, switch, shouldn't stay in. And he's probably going for a Grass move. So Shaman's getting quad resist that. Alright, let's go on Shaman. 
straight to Shaman. I need to help on this. He goes for Stair Frog right away. And I'm afraid to fire off an Air Slash. He has nothing that really resists that. Nothing that really resists that. He goes into Y, gone, give it to Y. Okay, that's definitely Assault this. From that damage, you can definitely tell that is an Assault. Oh, except of us, but it's very Spit Death. Never mind me. Never mind me. It's definitely Spit Death. This is a max special attack Air Slash. To be fair, it's a choice card Air Slash, but it's still an Air Slash. So, yeah, what does it go for here? U turn. Okay, yes, the U turn. Good to know, good to know. Probably goes on Genesec and yeah, just U-turns again. He has a very Volturny team. This probably has U-turn as well. So, but yeah, Turbita is my initial switch into the Evolta. Very Volturny team. I, will, will, I need a lot of flinches. I want to flinch this guy down. <laughs> but he's leftovers, not Scarf. I'm surprised by that as well. I think it's probably Genesec is Scarf. I was, I was thinking Ev Scarf Evolta to like uh, revenge kill my Mewtwo because Mewtwo is doing a bunch of damage to his team. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch of damage. But either way, probably you, I'm expecting the U-turn out in Genesec. Which, uh, probably just to U-turn once again. So, yeah, we will wait and see. I will cut this. Let's see. I want to see how defensive this, um, what to call it, this uh, Evelta is. Evelta. Uber defensive. Is it just max HP? Air slash 25 to 30. It did 24. So he's not only max HP. He has like some speed of investment. Let's say he's max speed dev. What would that role look like? Um, call nature. That role would look like okay. It's definitely not max speed dev. So like around 100. Around that. Like let's say 100 is a nice even number. <laughs> yeah, there's the metal bush. Of course, of course, of course. And now he knows I'm spit death. If he uh, takes, if he looks at the this thing, so at least I have, like usually naturally Tyrant has a higher defense set than spit death set. So if he looks at that, he knows that I have spit death investment, or he knows that I'm spit death at least. But yeah, I go into my Arceus. He will just U-turn once again, most likely. That's like it will kill me, and I don't want to get rid of Tyrant yet because getting rocks up is still very nice for this team. He did not brought any of his hazard rules, so once I have rocks up, they're there to stay. So yeah, should just leave Debutor and get up my rocks versus the. Victini, to be fair, but seeing that the Evolta is more defensive makes me not being as reliant on Derby Tower. But yeah, as is my switch in his fist death. It's not scared of this Metal Bush right here. That's only 26. Let's see, that's just probably just max attack. Um, let's see, Genesect. Uh, no special attacker. Level 100, blah blah. U turn plus one. This is my Arceus. Actual. Go, there we go. And 26. Yes, that's just max attack. Max attack Genesect, so no special there. It might be mixed. No boosting item. Most likely Scarf. That's what I'm seeing right here. But yeah, what does he have for my RCS to kill it straight away? Like, I'm fist death. So I'm not too scared of a lot on his team. Like, the only thing I'm scared of is like the Kyogre, but they have a very nice switch into a Falcon, which is like the best Kyogre check in regular. He goes into Uvelta. He wants to toxic me, right? He wants to toxic me. It's the only thing I'm seeing right now. Why he would do this switch. Why he would do this switch. So I want to go on Tyranitar and get my rocks up. So yeah, straight for Dark Pulse. I can take this. This is gone. And I will definitely unlock my rocks up. Because so the U-turn does not kill me. I get my rocks up. That's the only thing I'd expect of Tyranitar right here. U-turn Dark Pulse. This Dark Pulse did 8.7% to my Tyranitar. So let's look at this roll. Derpitan, Dark Pulse from the Velto. Defensive. Does he have no attack investment? Uh, no spadec. Uh, Dark Pulse. Why did that so little? Oh, Sand is up, of course. That's a min roll. That was, was a min roll. Okay, he goes up to this guy. And this guy is still useful to get up the Sand if KC, like, get, just get rid of the uh, rain, basically. So, do I want to keep this? I think I want to keep this. He could go for many things, but Palkia does not care. Palkia in general does not just not... it doesn't care. That's the Ice Beam, yeah. See, that's a crit. Don't... no freeze, nice. So yeah, Palkia does not care. And I can fire off a rather safe spatial rent, I feel, right here. Thunderbolt, he has no real resistance to that as well, but I think I feel safe just go for spatial rent. That Ice Beam damage was on Palkia, let's cut this. God damn it, my thing is lagging. There we go, Palkia, Buddy Car, versus Kyogre, probably not defensive. Let's see, Crit Ice Beam, we'll do 24 to 29 if he's defensive. 
but it did. Okay, it is defensive. Ice Beam, Raw. No idea what he wants to do right here. Would it toxic me? I just want to recover and see. He scores me, okay. Not too big of a deal. Since I'm a, specially, a special variant. I just fire for judgment. If, goals, if it's going for the burn, this is only play, then I'm fine with that. I'm a special variant. He rolls me out, I get some health back. Okay, I make, make, make a kick puncher. I don't want to scalp, don't want to be scalp burned on this. So I think I just go straight into Buddy Kill again. Because he keeps spamming skull probably. Wait, let's see. First, let's check the weapon. Dungeon 26 to this guy. And Spatial Rent did how much? Vision 34. So let's Kalki, Palki versus Kyogre. So that's looking like defensive, just max HP. Probably Fist Death as well. So. Omega Key Punch of Thunder Punch. Mewtwo. Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Mewtwo. To X Mega Kick Puncher, my Thunder Punch would not do enough, and I don't want to risk Sculpt, and this guy is very useful. So honestly, I just want to go back into Buddy Car. Back into Buddy Car on the most likely Sculpt. No, he switches. Okay, Onion Fairy. We Speed Tie. I just want to fight an Ice Beam. Because Kyogre is slowly getting in range, and this is nice damage on this as well. Just go straight for a U turn. Does not do too much damage. Hmm 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 hmm. Let's get this going with Celebi. I'm sorry I'm carking a lot, but there's like a, he has so many monsters, there's so many potential uh, sets. So that's why I want to know what his, um, let's say, offensive would do in 63. I did 57, so he's not offensive. This is just max HP. Looks like max HP Celebi. So it's a very vocal team so far. Defensive this, defensive this, max HP this. Genesect, most likely Scarf. That's like the most common set you see on the Genesect. And the other two I didn't saw so far. But yeah, what will you turn here into? Genesect, if it's not Scarf, I would speed. So right now I can confirm if he's Scarf or not. He gets his attack raise. Do Is it worth it to check if he's Scarf? This guy still speed has Victini and outspeeds everything barring the Deoxys speed. And he is, why would he switch in if it's not Scarf? So it is confirmed Scarf basically. But I just sacked Tyranitar here, I fail. Because I don't want to give him momentum. I don't want to give him momentum. Just stack Tyranitar right here. Of course, it dies. Fell Stinger. Okay. Okay, I see. I see you, Kelly. I see you, Kelly. Trying to Fell Stinger me. Trying to Fell Stinger me. <laughs> but okay, I'm afraid to fire off a flame. I want to recover, but I think I'll just fire off a flame for right here because this is most things I can recover either way. I can potentially kill him. Fell Stinger. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So he's not Scarf. Like, other, he's not Scarf. I think there's no reason he would go for Felsinger right here. Do I recover? I just want to save Flamethrower. Oh, he sacks the Onion Fairy, which is fine. Onion Fairy is down. Actually, go get some more health. And what does he have for this? What does he really have for this? Kyogre seems his only plan with Kyogre versus me seems to Scald Burn me, which is not too bad. Victini, I don't know, can't even t hurt a bulky Arceus. And then we got the extra speed with super power, maybe. So there's the Kyogre. So his plan is really just to Scald Burn me. Does he have rest? He probably has rest. So, honestly, I just want to... How much did Scald do last time for a judgment on a turn I should recover? Uh, 38, so I have to recover. Okay, I'll speed him, nice. Recover first. Gets the burn. Had to happen at some point. Had to happen at some point. I didn't know yet if I was faster or not because I've. Oh, yeah, probably. I should probably just judgment because I knew I was faster. So let's see. Goes for Ice Beam. Like, he can't freeze me. And uh, I can recover right here. I still want this guy to be healthy. He draws me out. I'm still decently healthy into Palamon, which is awesome because he basically has no real Seed Flash switch in. I think I just want to go for that. Genesect, even though... Let's see, uh, does Air Slash kill? He I mean, he still has the Eveltor, which is probably his best switch into a Seed Flare. Doesn't Air Slash kill his Kyogre from here? That's what I want to know. Uh, Shaman. Sky. Padamon. Versus Kyogre. Defensive. Air Slash does 21 to 25. So not enough. So probably just should just go for safe Seed Flare. Just protect, okay? Caesar goes to Seed Flare. 
We might go on Genesec right here, but I do not mind, man. Arceus is still very healthy. And he goes into this, okay. And this does a decent amount, I guess. Get my minus two drop, which is very nice. So now the next one will do 32. But he could just go for Dark Pulse and stuff like that. But since he can't Toxic me anymore, I think Arceus is just way too nice with everything on his team. I don't know how he wants to break Arceus, to be honest right now. If I don't make any weird mistake. I don't know how he will break Arceus. But yeah, I will switch out right here. He could just go for Oblivion Wing and kill me, and Patamon is still useful. Even um, mainly for the Kyogre, and of course I can Healing Wish any of my mons up if they are too low, like my Palkia currently, and stuff like that. Arceus is still very healthy, goes for Oblivion Wing, does tw 22%, which is pretty... which is damage, I guess. Which is damage, I guess. And I think he probably goes for a U-turn right here, I can just go for Save Ice Beam, some damage on them, on him. Maybe get a Freeze on something. But yeah, that's definitely not an offensive. Last time he just Dark Pulse me and tried to flinch me. Did he try to flinch me? Should I recover right here to be safe? Mm, yeah, I should recover probably. Just check if he's faster than me. He most likely isn't, but in case he's faster than me and he might Dark Pulse me and then I Ice Beam don't kill him, he get Dark Pulse me again. So I want to play correctly with my asses right here. So I should recover first. Should recover first to check how... Um, uh, but on the other hand, if I am, he's at minus two. He is at minus two. So Ice Beam probably kills him, right? He's oh, he was not super death. He's only like quote unquote only max HP. Evelta, let's say defensive versus minus two super death versus my Arceus set. Arceus actual goat Ice Beam does kill him from here, and he needs he needs a pretty high amount of H investment. This Oblivion Wing at turn twenty two. Oblivion Wing. So yeah, it looked like no attack investment. So I don't think he would have speed. So I go for Ice Beam right here. So Velta is very annoying for my team. Once the Velta is gone, my Shaman Sky is doing great versus his team. He can't kill me with a Dark Pulse. Like Oblivion Wing 22, Dark Pulse will do 50% more because of uh, Dark Aura, so it will do around 30. Ah, I don't kill! Rip. Goes for another Oblivion Wing, okay. And now he wants to weaken me. He definitely wants to weaken me. I, I just want to recover right here. I am confirm I'm confirmed faster than him. So I'm fine with that. Now I'm still at over 50%. I could recover again. Yeah, I could I should probably recover again. To keep this at good health. There are Cyclops, the Kyogre. He has protect, so he's confirmed, he can't really touch me. He can't. He doesn't have rest, so I can just uh judgment right here. Also protect, blah blah. Like he's, I don't know if he's trying to PT so only or something like that, but I can just go for Judgment and free it KO him. He can't really do too much to me. Or I could go into Buddy. I want Judgment once. I don't know how he wants to break this defensive <laughs> Arceus. And it seems he is struggling himself, seeing how he switches around most of the time. Yeah, he, had, he brought a very bulky team, and the bulky team can't deal with uh, my Arceus, especially in, since he burned it and he can't Toxic it with anything. If, I, if he should, could if he would be able to Toxic me, that would be a different story. But since he it wasn't, he just, just, just burned me, I am very fine with this. Let's see, he goes for a raw, draws me out, into bulk. And yeah, what is the switch into bulk? I don't know, but I could just go for a knockoff right here and kill something. Oh, Psycho Boost is safer. I mean, I can, yeah, this guy dies to anything, so I can just go for a safe. Uh, I want to go for a knockoff. I don't want to throw in a knockoff yet. I can just go for safe, quote unquote, safe Psycho Boost. Nothing early on his team wants to take it. Even the Oxus Speed doesn't like taking it. I should probably go for knockoff in case the Oxus Speed is. Uh, Psycho Boost. So protect, blah blah. Sees I go for Psycho Boost. Done a big problem because he will die to that, guaranteed. And Kyogre is down. Yep. Sees I'm life up. Now he can go into the Oxus Speed. And he could have pursued on this. He could have, I figured, I, like, because I brought Pursuit and Toxic Attack, he might have Pursuit Toxic Speed to Pursuit Trap me. Which would be scary. Which would be scary. Goes into Metal Bush, okay. Metal Bush, you 
probably go for U-turn right here or something like that. But I have still very healthy Arceus, so I don't mind switching that in on the U-turn or something like that. You got a Spitak race, so U-turn is doing nothing. So yeah, Arceus. Bulk. Bulk, bulk, bulk. Just too bulky for Kelly's team. Kyogre is gone, so my Palkia is a bit expandable. Is a bit more expandable. I can see he didn't wish it up, because it's still like nice for uh, the to find out what uh, to because the um Victini did not hit the field yet, so I'm very concerned what kind of Victini that is. He might be like okay, he's playing this genset as its scarf. Because I could just have a fire attack on my uh on my Deoxys and kill this guy. I don't have a fire attack, I don't have fire punch sadly. Don't have I, I have ice punch and stuff like that. But fire punch would kill him, and he switched it in. And view turned, which would obviously kill me, but why would he have Felsting on a Scarf 1? Not really sure about that. Not really sure what that is all about. Goes into the. Ah, oh, finally this guy comes in. Okay. What is your deal? What is your deal? Can you. I just want to recover to Scout out Scout. First, recover to Scout. What, what he wants to do. He might taunt me. He might go for Superpower. I can definitely take a Superpower from you. So I just want to recover right here to Scout. Drain Punch. That's 41%. And he's life up. So I can just recover on that. So if that's, that does only 30, I can, I'm free to judgment right here. And after that, recover again. <laughs> that's 62. God damn, this is so much still. Even though I'm like barely invested. I can recover again. This Arceus is a pain in the ass for Mr. Kelly over here. <laughs> was mainly there for the uh, what you call it? Okay, he goes into. Okay, there's Vimon. Now I'm at full health, and I'm fine with anything. I just want to discover what else to do. Mate, does he, he might even trick me, which would be annoying. <laughs> v create. Does <laughs> does only thirty seven. I can go for judgment. Sixty two. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, it is. Yeah, you just spam to recreate. <laughs> so. Um, he's at minus 2 speed, so he's maximum. Even his max speed scarf, he's like 400, 200 front something. So I'm definitely faster than him, so I can just give him a judgment. Vimon goes down. <laughs> There's Ivelta. I do outspeed you. I do, I'm confirmed outspeeding you. Oh no, I don't. I can't just have a judgment right here. 30%. Doesn't do enough, sadly. But. He has 15 rules. I don't have enough judgment, so I probably should, 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 should switch out at some point. Could go for the freeze, to be fair. But do I still need judgments? No, I don't need judgments as anything. So I can just spam. Wait, oh, it's B tie? Or does it go for something? Is it B tie? What? It is a speed tie. God damn it, it is a speed tie. <laughs> Rip. God damn it. Why is this a speed tie? Um, I should recover right here. Because I was wondering, like, last time I did outspeed him, and then he roosted before me. So it is actually a speed tie. He roosts, I recover. He won that speed tie. Ice beams do probably more than judgments. Does he flinch me? Nope. Ice beam, 32%. I mean, I could just go for a freeze, for the freeze. <laughs> but he spams Dark Pulse, it seems. Which I don't really have a switch into. I have to catch him on the roost and I switch into something else to speed this uh, 1v1 battle a bit up. Um, I, oh, if he wins two speed ties in a row, he could kill me with Dark. No, he can't. So I can just Ice Beam again. Freeze. Oblivion Wing, okay. Why right, you're winning the speed tie is not enough. Just recover right here. Okay. I win I win a lot of the speed ties right here. So right here, what do we do? We'd go for Dark Horse, right? And recover again. I need to catch him on the roof so I can speed this process up of 1v1ing this guy. 
Because you can't just keep just can't just keep going for Oblivion Wing, sadly. But if he spams Oblivion Wing, I could I do I just sack Palkia to get it like a free switch into into the, into something to to a hero sky. Probably. I, I should probably speed this up. I'm losing this battle 1v1 because I have only 5 recovers left and like 6 judgments. So I probably should sack Parkia right here. Maybe I can take it, I doubt it, but I should probably speed this up a bit. I can't, which is fine. Right now, so... Mega Kick Puncher can still take hits from everything, whereas Bolt probably not as good. Probably should get a lot of damage on this guy. He doesn't have Sucker Punch, that's confirmed. I don't have much HP, he can Oblivion up from me, so I just go for Ice Punch right here. I just, I want to speed this up. Like, I, I'm losing this battle 1v1 with us here, so I should, would have to go for a Freeze. And so I just rather sack, quote unquote, sack my uh, Deox and my uh, uh, Mewtwo for damage. But anyway, I don't know what's wrong with my PC, why it's blacking out, stuff like that. But yeah, oh, he switches out, okay. He sacks this. Go for Ice Punch. So, now I can go back into his Genesect, I guess. But I still have Arceus. A decent amount of health. So he's just prolonging the inedible, debatable, inevitable. Um. Got a U turning. Arceus, it is. I may have to sack uh, Padamon and stuff like that. Yes, this guy again. He has Oblivion Wing. My Mewtwo should be able to take one Oblivion Wing. But if he Dark Pulses, it can't. So, how do we do this? Do I just sack Patamon? It's probably the safer play. So, if I just go into Shaman Sky, sack it, and then go back into uh, Mewtwo, for example. I mean, it gives him too much health. I need to go into Deoxys Attack. And probably just go for an Ice Punch. And then it goes back to 50 50 and stuff like that. So, right, let's go for one recover first. Gets good health. Yeah, he goes to Dark Wars. See, so if I would have gone to Mewtwo, I would just die. I can't stall him out. I can't, I can't stall him out. I ha could go for the Freeze, but that's not really the play. If he spams Dark Pulse, everything that I switch in will die. So I sh should sack Padamon right here, probably. Then go back into... If I go into Mewtwo... Uh, how much does Mewtwo do to the defensive Ivalta? My Mewtwo. I died to Oblivion Wing, that's for sure. Oh, I, I might not die because it's defensive. Yeah, see, I don't die to Oblivion Wing. And Ice Punch does only 30%. Oh, that's that's a bit disappointing. That is indeed a bit disappointing. Especially since 30% is uh, damage around 200. Around the 250 mark. And since he recovers 120, basically recovers close to everything I do with Ice Punch. If I go into Deoxys... Next is attack, bulk. I do with Ice Punch a lot more. A lot more. How much do I do to the um, uh, Genesect? Ice Punch does only 30%, but I think he does another 30, so I think, yeah, because then uh, Genesect dies to rocks plus Ice Punch plus Extreme Speed. So, second Shaman's Guy is the right play. Yeah. Then we go back into bulk. Go for an Ice Punch. Because Genesec dies to Ice Punch plus Extreme Speed. Like, look at this Kalk, 30 minimum, and he is at, what is he at? 63, so 2 times 30 plus rocks is another 12%, he dies. Barring he is a, a very good amount of both. I have to go for this Ice Punch right here to get some good damage on him. Uh, then I have to win the speed. I might still lose to Zivalta. I might still lose to Zivalta. I might still lose to this because I Ice Punch right here. Your Bleeding Wings get like a smidgen of health. And if the next Ice Punch from Mewtwo doesn't kill him, then I need to win a speed tie with Arceus. And if I don't win that speed tie, because I don't have extreme speed, then he, I might still lose to Zivalta because it's too fat. Too fat. Ugh. <sighs> So yeah, I would love if he switched out because then he takes another round of rocks and then I'm fine. 
then I'm fine. Then he definitely dies with two Ice Punches from my Bolt, plus with the Ice Punch from my Mewtwo. And I guess there's like a chance to freeze him if one, from one of two Ice Punches, so... I hope he switches. I definitely hope he switches. That will be my way of winning the game. Genesis Act. Yeah, nice. Switch. Nice, 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 nice. So it dies to Ice Punch. He should die to Ice Punch with extreme speed. Ice Punch did. 33. Yeah, he definitely dies to Ice Punch. Ice Punch is uh, resisted, so it's like. run. Yeah, ice extreme speed is even stronger than Ice Punch versus him, so I can just go for extreme speed and kill him. Ah, he might have extreme speed on his own. Would he have extreme speed on his own? Oh, wait, if he has. He might scarf with extreme speed? I don't think so. So yeah. It's GG. It's GG, because now I can definitely Ice Punch you, and now you, after the Ice Punch, you're definitely in range of an Ice Punch from Mewtwo. Oh, you're just in range for that. Boom! There we go! GG to Kelly. That was more, a bit of a scary game, this developer. was a bit too fat for my taste, but we win 3-0. We are free and one currently in UDL. Uh, definitely hit up uh, Kelly. His links are in the description. He doesn't upload UDL, but he, uh, he did upload all other League content you can check out on his channel. And yeah, that's all for me. I will see you another time. Ciao.